All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing an update on the AI-based website that I had put together, and we're gonna be taking a look at how many pages are indexing, what's going on with the site, and some updates on what I'm currently working on. So if you've been following this series a couple of videos back, what I talked about is just putting up a mock site here to see if we can get AI content ranked and how well it's gonna do. There's multiple steps in this process but we put up the website with the branding javafinder.com. This was an expired domain that I had picked up. Didn't have a whole lot of power to it, but it was just enough and uh, was the right price. So I grabbed onto that and created a lot of categories. Everything was put on here and started generating content. Predominantly the generator that I was using is from what's called Zimwriter. I'll link to a video on that below. And of course doing some bulk updating and uploading. This made the process really simple. And as you can see here, got a pretty good amount of posts going on. I'm just gonna click over here, what do we got? So we have about 70 published and I have 76 in draft that I'm working through. Now this has not been a super rapid build. Some people out there are doing things, for example, posting 500 or 1000 blog posts all at once. And I did not wanna do that for two primary reasons. Number one, uh, because those are more of a uh, spray and pray method, so to speak, or a pump and dump, where you just put a whole lot of content out there, try to get it ranked, and then the site's probably gonna not do well. It's gonna crash because a lot of the uh, AI generated content is gonna be too generic and it needs some personalization. Second of all, I'm hoping that most of you who are watching this are really just kind of interested in actually building something, an affiliate website that's probably gonna last. So obviously, you know, if you're spending all your time on a site or a side hustle, you don't have a lot of time, the time and energy you put into something, you do actually want it to stick. Now I'm kind of going halvesies on this. This is not a full-time project, so it is important you understand that. This process could be going much faster if I was putting a lot more time and energy into it, but I've literally been updating about two or three posts a day and publishing them, just changing a few tweaks, adding internal links, etc. So it is important to know that before we take a look at this. So if we look over here into the performance, this is kind of what's been going on. The site was put into Search Console here on roughly May 27th, which we're not on a month, uh, actually almost six weeks, right? Something like that. So as you see throughout here, I was uploading a couple of posts a day. I think I started off with about six or so, and then slowly was adding a few a day. Okay, so I was sporadic, wasn't 100% consistent. But as we kept going here, we see not a lot of action going on here for the first uh, almost 15 days-ish. And then we start to see things picking up. And I'm gonna show you a few things that were going on uh, in this time period. But as we keep going here, we're starting to see the impressions starting to really move, okay? So up, 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 and very nicely here around the 10th or so, we've been getting about 51 uh, impressions a day. We do see that the CTR level is high, but uh, I'll show you why in a minute. Average uh, position, 38.1, so not bad at all. So we scroll down here, we see the query is number one query is gonna be Java Finder. Not sure, probably a lot of people who've been watching these videos have been searching it and finding it, so that's giving uh, some impressions and some clicks. So just kind of uh, disregard that. But as we go down here, we're starting to see some of the key phrases that we're actually getting some impressions for. Uh, best coffee maker for an Airbnb, coffee machines for a small business, not bad at all. Okay, cold frappuccino machine. Now remember that the coffee uh, target niche is going to be extremely competitive, very, very competitive. So when you actually look up in KGR's uh, keyword metrics, a lot of the keywords have a very strong difficulty. Uh, so this is uh, gonna be a very interesting test here. So we're not doing too bad here. This is pretty much what I expect for the amount of effort that I'm putting into this. Couple posts a day and doing a good job on interlinking and so forth. But in particular, what I wanna talk about is the indexing. So a lot of you guys out there, I'm seeing a lot of information out there and comments and so forth in different Facebook groups. People are really struggling to get their pages indexed. Well, there's probably a number of reasons why that's the case, but I think first and foremost, it's just pumping out an insane amount of volume of content, not doing internal linking, et cetera. So you need to make sure you're doing the basic steps. You can see right here so far, uh, we start all the way back here at the beginning. Indexed, we've got 10, and then we're starting to build up nice and slowly to about 72 index posts, and it continues to climb. 
So there's really not a problem with indexing. If we look at the not indexed and we look at what that is, I'll show you here in a second, the vast majority of them, we have the no index tag, and this is for the most part going to be things like uh, tags and categories. We need to clean that up a little bit later. Okay, but if we go back down here and we look at what's going on in the crawl not currently indexed, there's about 16 pages, and these were a little earlier on. We see all the way back here from June 17th and so forth. Now, these are actual articles. Uh, some of them, I'm sorry, I was poking at this one here, right up here. And you, you see these here are in the feed, all right? So these are showing up as things that aren't going to really get indexed anyway that we care about. That we care about here is these articles that do not have the feed component there. Now, just a quick tip on this, if you're seeing this down here, what I need to do, I'm going to do anyway, is I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna to go to those articles, and I'm gonna add a bit more content. I'm probably gonna add a few more images with some different variations of alt text from the primary keyword, uh, probably see if there's an FAQ that I can add on there or key takeaways or anything that's missing, some additional piece of content, and make sure that it's internally linked. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna resubmit it back up here. Okay, so when we do the URL inspection, and the few that I've done this with already, that was all it took in order to get them indexed again, okay? So I know a lot of you are actually doing this manual URL um, yeah, indexing request up here, which I do that, but you also want to do this inside of your site. So if you, don't, if you haven't stumbled upon this video yet, make sure you check it out where I talk about how to get instant indexing set up. If we go over here under Rank Math, and we go into instant indexing, right here you have a console for being able to do this. Now, of course, just right off the bat, you'll be able to get some indexing to some search engines, but if you want to use the Google API, you have to go through a setup. I'll include a link to that below. But every time we go in there and we post new uh, articles, we go in here and make sure that we use the ind instant indexing function so that that is set up properly. That's not the only thing that's going to help indexing. Of course, if you post on social media and so forth, that is also going to help get your pages indexed. It's very important to go through this process because what point is it to have hundreds, if not thousands of AI generated articles made, which are costing you money to do this if you're not gonna get indexing. So it's pointless. You don't have to use a paid indexing tool, okay? Some people will. But if you look at what I've already been able to do so far, we're already getting these pages indexed. I'm not paying to have this done in that way. So you can do it. One of the things that I do recommend is getting uh, an IFTTT network uh, created for you. What this essentially is, is these tiered rings for syndicating your content based on an RSS feed. This will automatically take a piece of content as it's created on your website and push it out to your content rings, which are gonna create some links, right? This is another thing that I really feel helps with getting things indexed, obviously getting social media juice, pushing out to the indexer, all this stuff matters. So you wanna make sure that you're doing this kind of stuff. This is a great one here, this service um, by this guy, Gemini guy on legit.com. I'll make sure that I add this in. The one that I used on my site was the two tiers, two rings network which is 35 bucks, he sets this up so that it's automatically done for you. So I think this is one of the instrumental things. Now we look at all the other services that I have going on right here. Um, the ones that I have worked on is the IFTTT network. And also I have started to layer in two additional services. Number one is a profile links, okay, to just increase the type of links that we're going to the website. And also we're gonna do a domain authority stack. So there are a couple of things here that will help move the needle along and layering things in nice and slow. So as per usual, I'm sure people are gonna go in here and try to get all of this stuff done at once, which is a bad idea. You want to layer things in to make it look a little bit more natural and you'll have less problems. It doesn't 100% mean that you're not gonna have an issue, but take your time, okay? If you want something to last, and I have sites now, as I've told you, in previous videos that uh, after multiple Google updates, I have had absolutely no problems with them and hardly any crashing of traffic. In the ones where I rush things along and try to do insane amount of things, uh, I got bit in the butt for that and those sites crashed and they're basically having a difficult time recovering, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're doing all the stuff that you need to do. Now, the other thing that's important here when you go through your pages 
is we have to keep in mind that a lot of this content is essentially when AI writes is rehashed content. It is going out online and accumulating all of the content that is already available, and it's just sticking it together. Now, in highly competitive markets, this is not going to be super helpful because Google's going to look at that content and there's nothing new. I've said this many times and I do recommend this, that actually in some of your posts, at least, maybe not in 100% of them, but you go and find more unique perspective-based content on YouTube. So I've talked about this, that one of the uh, best tools to use is youtubetranscript.com. So this is a very free tool that you can use and you could put any URL in here for a YouTube video and we can get a transcript of this that we can stick into ChatGPT and gather some very specific information and we can use that information as background content for ChatGPT to write articles from. So this is super helpful because it expands and adds perspective to the articles that are a little bit more unique that is odds are likely you're not going to find in just general scraped content from Google. So there are some extra things in here that if you take your time and you add these into your posts and your articles is going to increase the likelihood that it's gonna get indexed and eventually as your site gains authority is you're gonna gain ranking. So if you go through here, you'll see again those, those different areas, some things that I've added. Number one, adding a table of contents, which you should have a simple plugin for this. Uh, on the website that allows people to find information they want really quick. I tend to also use key takeaways in my post as well and also make sure that you're linking out to authoritative sources. Like for example, here we're talking about, it's mentioning uh, Arabica coffee from Ethiopia and that's linking to, as an external link to, to a Wikipedia page. And we also have internal links on these pages that are pointing inward, which I tend to point at, guess what? those all important money pages, the pages that you really want to get ranked in Google. We have videos on the page, very good resources. And of course, uh, I do not use automatically generated uh, images or use stock images. I use uh, Midjourney, so I have a paid account and I am creating these kind of unique content images and of course using alt text on these images to make sure that I'm getting a little bit of a boost. Odds are likely later I'm gonna go back through these and I am going to do another round of adding images to each of my posts. Uh, try to do so before it gets out of control and it becomes daunting with a thousand posts. But uh, right now 70 is manageable and I can create a large chunk of mid-journey images that are coffee related, espresso related, et cetera, that would be usable on virtually any of these pages and I'll drop those in and use additional customized variations of the keywords. Uh, so for example, if this is what kind of coffee is uh, Arabica, then I would say uh, coffee type Arabica, something, whatever it is, just create variations to further improve the uh, keywords that this page has and the alt text on the images and further improve the value in Google's eyes, okay? So there's a couple of things that I went through here, but in terms of indexing, the most important thing is that you continue to do all the right things. Take your time a little bit, edit this content so that it is better, uh, add some additional perspectives and so forth using those videos and make sure that you use those additional services to improve your ranking and your syndication of your content. And you should be able to produce similar results as mine, um, in particular when you're considering that how little time I've actually spent on this site. So we're gonna continue uh, grinding on it and of course doing video updates to help you along in the process so you can see an example of what you should be expecting when you're building an affiliate site. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Of course, hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I put out a new video and you can follow along to creating uh, affiliate websites and more with AI-based tools. Thanks for watching.